Here is the recap of the first season of And Just Like That. The main characters of the series Sex and the City, Carrie, Charlotte and Miranda are still friends, but they are over 50 and have completely different interests and problems. Only Samantha quarreled with the heroines, went to London and there is no news of her. We learn that in the past Carrie hired her as her manager, but later fired her and Samantha removed her from her friends. Throughout the season, Carrie tries to reconnect with her and eventually they begin to text each other. The characters are also still friends with the couple Stanford and Anthony, who are starting to have relationship problems. Meanwhile, Carrie joins a popular relationship podcast run by the non-binary persona of Che Diaz and her partner Jackie Nay. The heroine lives with Mr. Big, the love of her life. But one day while exercising on his exercise bike, he has a heart attack and dies in the arms of his beloved. Sometime later, at Mr. Big's funeral, Miranda meets Che Diaz and they feel affection for each other. Soon Miranda begins to realize that her marriage has long ago lost any sharpness and she and her husband simply coexist, after which she begins to drink alcohol. One day the heroes go to a stand-up performance by Che Diaz and after the concert, Miranda falls in love with them at the bar. Also, the heroine tries to get a job at a major law firm and for this purpose takes a course of lectures from Professor Nia Wallace. At first, the relationship between the teacher and the student did not go well, but they soon became friends and began to communicate with each other. Nia says that she and her husband wanted to have children, but for several years they had not been able to, so they resorted to IVF, but even that was unsuccessful. Her husband has been obsessed with children lately, and Nia is afraid he might leave her because she can't get pregnant. They are even thinking about adoption. However, towards the end of the season, the couple breaks up. Charlotte and her husband Harry are hyper-protective of their children Lily and Rose. Soon Rose does not feel like a woman and asks to be called Rock in secret at school. Charlotte learns about it and is unable to accept her daughter's position for a long time, but eventually realizes that her children are independent and can do as they please. Soon Charlotte and Harry meet Lisa and Herbert Wexley, a powerful African-American couple. Lisa and Charlotte are incredibly similar and very quickly find common ground. Meanwhile, Anthony and Stanford decide to divorce. Stanford flies off to Japan and we never see him again. Anthony opens a bakery where bread is delivered by pumped up handsome men. Carrie learns that her deceased husband left his ex-wife Natasha million dollars in his will. The heroine is shocked because she suspects that Mr. Big still had feelings for Natasha. She tries to contact her, but she avoids her. Eventually, Carrie manages to talk to the woman, but learns that Natasha is also shocked by the inheritance, after which Carrie relaxes. She soon decides to sell her and her ex-husband's apartment as she can no longer be there because of the memories. To do this, she hires a realtor, Seema Patel, with whom she quickly finds common ground and they begin a friendship. Seema was brought up in a strict Indian family and her parents constantly remind her that she must find a husband. The woman is generally not against it, but she cannot find an equal partner, so she puts all her energy into her career. Carrie moves back into her old apartment. Soon she begins to experience pain in her hip and thinks it is from old age. However, Seema takes her to a good doctor and he finds the heroine has a congenital hip defect. After the operation, Carrie must be at rest for several months, so the friends decide to take turns sitting with her while the heroine is on painkillers. After a while, Chadia's come to visit her. While Carrie is asleep, Miranda and Che get drunk and have sex. The heroine wakes up from this, but after seeing what is happening she does not dare to stop them. However, she is angry with Miranda, first, because she did not tell her anything about her relationship with Che, and second, because she had to go to the bathroom in a plastic bottle herself. Miranda apologizes and tells her how she feels about Che and that her marriage is falling apart. A little earlier, Miranda had found a package with a book on how to quit drinking. She guessed Charlotte had sent it, and at first she was angry, 
However, she soon realized that she really was drinking too much. After that she decided to quit drinking. She also texts Chidiaz to say that she wants to see them, but they don't answer and Miranda gets upset. Three months later, Carrie recovers and gets back on her heels. She wants a fresh start and buys a new apartment, but later realizes she doesn't like it, so she stays in her old house. Seema invites Carrie to a family party where she introduces her parents. Seema has to lie to them that she is dating a man because she is afraid of being judged. Meanwhile, Anthony, fearing that he looks old, asks the heroine to take him to a plastic surgeon. The doctor doesn't think he needs any improvement. Carrie, on the other hand, is advised by the doctor to undergo a rejuvenation procedure, which upsets her. The friends are having lunch in the park and Charlotte discovers that Miranda has an attraction to Che Diaz. Charlotte is shocked, as too many things have been changing in her friends' and daughters' lives lately, so she quarrels with Miranda. However, they make up quickly. Miranda also reveals that she is unhappy in her marriage and she hasn't felt as good as she does with Che Diaz in a long time. However, because they haven't responded to Miranda's message, she doesn't know what to do. Also, Charlotte and Carrie praise their friend for quitting drinking. After her husband's death, Carrie begins to write a book about her life. Remember, she used to write a popular relationship column in a magazine and has a huge fan base. When Carrie finishes writing the book, her publisher is delighted with what she has read, but asks her to add something. The work is too dark and her fans, who are used to the joyful Carrie Bradshaw, may be disappointed. So the editor asks the heroine to go on some kind of date and end the book on a hopeful note, so that readers will have at least some spark of hope. At first Carrie refused to accept the fact that sooner or later she would have to communicate with men, but her friends convinced her to go on a date and even found her a teacher named Peter on a dating app. At the restaurant, they got drunk out of embarrassment and got sick on the way out. Carrie decided she wouldn't see him again, but soon met Peter at a charity event and they agreed to have dinner again, after which the heroine completes the hopeful ending of her book. Also at the charity event, Mir and crosses paths with Che Diaz. The woman discovers that they simply did not get her message, and Che have been thinking about her for the past three months as well. They declare their love for each other and begin to sleep together, but Che soon learned that Miranda is married and they do not like it, after which the heroine tells her husband that she wants a divorce. He is upset, but wishes his beloved happiness. Meanwhile, being a popular comedian, Che Diaz informed the heroine that they have been invited to star in a TV series and they are going to Los Angeles. Miranda drops out of classes and wants to go with Che which she informs her friends. Also, Shake Lowe's their podcast. Carrie gets a new neighbor from downstairs. Her friends are very noisy and disturb her sleep, so she reprimands them. However, she is afraid that now she will be considered an evil granny who is always arguing. This happens several times and one day Carrie goes into her apartment because the door was open. At first the heroine thought her new neighbor was an elite escort but she soon learns that Lisette is a very famous jewelry designer. Eventually, they find common ground and Lisette even gives her one of her jewelry pieces. Charlotte also has a lot of problems. Her husband resents her for being too aggressive on the tennis court. Younger daughter Rock wants to redo the bedroom to make it more boyish, and Lily asks to be taught how to use tampons, after which she throws a tantrum. Miranda also sees her secret Instagram account, where Lily posts slightly sexualized photos. In the end, however, the family solves all their problems. Seema meets a new boyfriend, Zed, the owner of a popular club in New York City, and they begin an affair. Meanwhile, Carrie notices that the lamp above her bed is beginning to flash, and she thinks Mr. Big is sending her messages from the other side. She fixes the lamp, but it keeps blinking, and that same night she has a strange dream. After which Carrie realizes where she needs to scatter her ex-husband's ashes. She wants to go to Paris, and her friends are going to fly with her. However, Carrie intends to do it on her own. The heroine carries out her plans and even meets Samantha but we are not shown that. When Carrie returns to New York, 
a producer named Franklin by Che Diaz suggests that the heroine create her own podcast, since she was good at it. Eventually they succeed and Cowie and Franklin even have a romance. End of Season 1 Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the like button. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.